Number two. Well, can these two defenses keep this pace up? Or will the offenses start to kick in? We're about to find out as we open up the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. All right, we go down to Aaron Andrews for a quick update. If you're a fan of great defense, then you're liking what you're seeing from these two teams. This is the type of game that each coach said they expected, at least for a quarter or two. Back up to you, Brad. Here we go. Let's... They'll bring him down at the 27. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Quick pass, and he's taken down at the 37-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From their own 37-yard line, first down. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. It looks like they're going to blitz. Tackle made at the 50-yard line. So that scamper by the halfback is good for a first down. You like how the offense is playing intelligent, controlled football. Here, using the safe run to get the first. First and 10, ball on the 50. They might be coming here. He's tackled at the 49. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on the 49-yard line. Right around the 46 yard line. Number 48 brings him down at the 46 yard line. Third down. From the 46 yard line. Third down. Lost the ball. Fumble. And who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. And down he goes at the 43 yard line. And that's a very heads-up play by the defensive end to jump on that fumble. Here's a great job of the defense there to take advantage of the mistake and cause that turnover. They'll go to work at the 43. Little handoff. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. First and 10. Ball on the 33. One, one, one. And they'll run him again. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear him down. From the 20 yard line, first down. Hands it to the back, and he's level at the seven. They've got a solid drive going here, but I know it's not going to mean that, that much without game. putting some points up on the board. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They come out in a five-wide set. Ready! Black 90! Hut. And he's immediately tackled. They're at the six. Second down.
They'll go with the run once again. And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. When Heisman voters are trying to decide who will get their support, they're going to be thinking about performances like this one he's having here today. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 32-yard drive, and they put up seven points. The score now, 17-10. Notre Dame ready to kick this one off. And this is just a booming kick. And they can forget about returning this one. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Takes the ball inside. Brought down at the 34. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They're showing blitz. Good outside run there. And that carry puts him over the 1,000-yard mark for rushing this season. I just continue to be amazed by this back's vision. There are not that many who are better at finding a hole and hitting it hard. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 39. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Taken down at the 42-yard line. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Brother against brother. Friend against friend. Husband against wife. Alabama and Auburn clash in the Iron Bowl. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Auburn, they're sleepwalking through this thing. If they don't turn it around, they're going to get into a world of trouble. They give to the tailback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Good hard running on third down but he couldn't squeeze out that last yard. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. And he tackles him hard at midfield. So his fifth run of the drive goes for another first down. This offense is running the ball very effectively on this drive. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. He makes it out to midfield. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 50. It's the tailback. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From the 37-yard line, second down. Give to the tailback. Makes it out to about the 19. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Alabama and Auburn head to head in the Iron Bowl. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Auburn, they're having all kinds of trouble so far. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. We're at the 12th play of the drive. First and goal. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties. It puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run 
and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action, Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. Less than three minutes in the game. And he hits the PAT. It was a 13-play, 76-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. When you run the football like this, it can really open up different aspects of your offense. And I don't mean just the play call, but just the timing and the rhythm of the game and of the flow of the game is very important, and right now a huge advantage for this team in this offense. They'll bring him down at the 24. The offense will start at the 24-yard line. off up the middle he has some room he gets out to about the 37 yard line make it 100 yards rushing for him Brad this guy has had a game to be able to keep this team in this football game and before it's all said and done he could be the difference in the outcome of the game they hand it off again he gets it out to about the 47 yard line the running back carries for 10 yards on the draw play. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they'll get him in the backfield. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Drops back to pass. Great concentration. That catch will keep this drive alive here in the fourth quarter. This is a very critical stage of the game, but this quarterback looks incredibly calm and collected. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 48. A little over a minute in the game. They'll give it off here. Up the middle for a nice game. Gain of seven on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Very good tackle in space. Notre Dame's going to use their first time out of the half here. That makes it first and ten. From the 35-yard line, first down. it off on the delay Number they'll bring him down around the 21 yard line gain of 14 on the play first down. just a simple draw play there but they picked up some big yards first down 10 to go ball on the 21 yard line the ground with the tailback he gets out to about the 18 yard line and the halfback carries for a pickup of three that'll make it second to seven this is the ninth play of this drive they'll work the left and he's taken down at the six the offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's that the fifth first, first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. Time Notre Dame will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. 
Folks, we're either going to see victory with this field goal or overtime. Here we go. There's the timeout we were all expecting. And this field goal is for the game. A miss will mean overtime. The kick is away. Yes, he made it, and this one is over. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25-yard line. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 2017, Notre Dame. 17. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup. And boy, was it fun to watch.